page 24 old faithful geyser this is something about broken cords with pedal well no big deal we've had broken cords we've had pedal and we put them together before so well, all right but before we add the pedal we got to get the broken cord so let's just cover this now three four time we got one flat in the key signature we're in the key of f major make sure you can do the f major scale at least one octave up and down at the assignment i'm going to kind of take both hands at the same time because we're moving around. Now what this first line is, is it's an F chord, it's a broken F chord, and you're, you're starting down here in the, in the left hand, here, and then, because first you can play these as block chords to figure out where they are, and then the second measure, it's bass clef. They could have given you a bass clef at the beginning, but they chose not to, they put it right there, okay, but it's down here, this one, and then the left hand gets treble clef, so it's going to go here, and then the right hand is up here. It's, a, it's not an F chord now, it's here. It's one, two, five. Because you got a C coming up. So that first line is this chord. Here, and then the broken chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the broken chord. The left hand, second line, it is a, your treble clef. B flat, a C, and an E. So it's. And then an F chord in the left hand, you can do a 5 4 2 if you want, because the thumb is such a short finger, it's up to you. Sometimes I do it that way, and then two rests, and then you do it again. Now we're going to go down. This is a D minor chord. We got this chord, third line, fourth line down. This is here. The left hand does here. And then right hand comes down, bass clef, and then the left hand's down here. So it's here, 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 here. Broken. And that's a G and an A because we're in bass clef. You got a rest to come up. Don't forget the B flat, it's in the key signature. So the last line on page 24. Here. Got a D here. Rest, rest, and we do it again. Come up. Now we this is the top of page 25, third measure. Here. Here, it's a B flat C and then add the D and now it's an E. So hold the C down. Like so. And then we're back to the F chord. Like it was at the beginning. Let's jump down to the third line. On the second line, you're here. Second ending, excuse me. It's the third line, second ending. It's here. And by the way, I suggest you play that C with a thumb. This prepares the G, it's got an 8 VA above it, so you got to come up here. And if you play it with a thumb, it's, it's a little closer. So it's here. The 8 VA only applies to the top staff now, not the... Now the fun part. See the double bars? We're going into a different section. Well, you just take these one thing at a time here. This is the third line down on page 25, and it's the last two measures, the, where the double bars are. We have a, a D flat, an A flat, and a D flat. And then we have an F bass clef, F, A flat, and a B. So try those. Make sure you can get that. And then for the next line, C or an F chord, you've had this. Okay, and then this third measure, it's the same thing you had the, a line above, but you're an octave higher. And then F major, and then last line, again, it's the same thing we've had, just an octave higher. And then an F chord, F chord, F chord. So you're just kind of going back between these two chords. And 
Get your left hand over and hovering over that ready to go because there's no rest or anything. So that fourth line down. to go as fast as I'm going. You take it your speed, make sure you have all the right notes, and then go back and get rid of the hesitations. It has to be a steady beat. At some speed, a steady beat. Then we can try the, well as far as articulation goes, they don't really give you any. Just go ahead and connect everything as best you can. If we happen to run across a staccato somewhere, we'll throw that in, but otherwise you connect everything. Dynamic wise, for the most part, it's going to apply for any of these broken chords, either hand, and when it's a block chord, bring it in the background. Whichever hand has it doesn't matter, make it in the background. So at the beginning it's both hands at whatever we think moderately soft it is, and then you're going to crescendo up to a moderately loud and back down. So it's here, stay now a little louder, now you're moderately loud. These are soft, come back down to moderately soft and do it again. You're not crescendoing here, just stay down. That's an error because you have a decrescendo on the third line. We didn't crescendo anywhere. We're not going to decrescendo from where we're at. So go ahead and crescendo again. Put in a little crescendo. In my opinion, it should be at the beginning of the third line. Here. Up to moderately loud. Here. And these, these are soft. And then back down to moderately soft. Now you're moderately loud, both hands. This moderately soft. And they want you to crescendo again. Well, they didn't give you a day crescendo. So, in my opinion, we need to do a day crescendo there at the end of the fourth line. Come back down. So it's, again, the fourth line, moderately loud. Come back down. You're coming from soft to moderately soft. Because you're in the background. Here. This is moderately loud. Like so. That's appropriate or not, but that's what they've done, so okay. But put in a decrescendo in there someplace so that when you're starting the last four measures of page 24, you're back up to moderately loud. Now come back down, and then this, all the time you're doing this, I want to hear that. It doesn't say anything after the repeat sign. I suggest you go back like you were at the beginning and moderate and soft. Just play this like you did at the beginning. And then when you get to the third line, you moderately soft. Soft, both hands. That's softer than moderately soft. This is soft. Quieter, very soft, very soft, both hands very soft. I'm just a nice gentle stroking here on the keys. I'm not coming straight down, I'm, I'm kind of sliding back on the keys. On a loose wrist here. Here and then here. Now it takes a little practice to be able to do that. Get all the notes down at the same time. I can't do it, but you can do it, I'm sure. And speed wise, well, Maharato's in the middle and it's the overall feel of the piece. So it's not going to be real fast. It's not going to be real slow. That just drags. It's got to be in the middle, it's the feel of it. So get to know it well enough that you can feel it in you. That's not one, two, three, four. That's not a, as as far as the beat goes. That's fast. 
one, two, three, four. But of the feel of the piece, it's more of a moderate feel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because we're almost feeling this in a slow one. Now they want pedal on this. Well, that's fine, because it adds the overtones. It adds color to these chords. It's also the purpose of broken chords with pedal. you got to add the pedal. Huh? So now we can add the pedal. Now we got the chords out of the way. I'm going to push the notes down first and then the pedal. So the pedal lags behind the notes here. And I'm going to lift the pedal right after I play that F. So I'm going to connect it so it's here. So you get the idea. And that's how we're pedaling the whole thing throughout. Just don't pedal any more than they tell you to and it's fine. And when you get to page 25 at the top there where the fermata is that, well, it starts with the third measure here. We're pedaling this for coloring because we're going to hold that out. It's a fermata. And a lot of times on piano, when we have longer held notes, we will add pedal to them to color them. Otherwise, they just dry and ugh. So we're going to color that chord. And then lift the pedal with the hands because we still want a one beat rest before we go on. Like so. We get to the fourth line down after the double bars. Now we're going to pedal it. You pedal it. They're pedaling it with a harmony and they're changing it here. So one harmony is one chord. And change, change it after you play the note. suggest you go ahead and change the pedal on the last chord to get rid of all that other stuff because we're dying away and we, I'd like to get rid of those overtones all that all those upper notes so that last line is here change and then change here so this is by itself so we lose all that other sound in my opinion that is a better especially since we're getting real soft in don't have to, but that's my suggestion. this with you very slowly to double check all the notes and stuff. I don't think the rhythm's a problem. I want to check all the notes. So I give us three counts. Let's just do it together very slowly. Now we're going to do all the repeats and everything that's written. I'm just not doing any dynamics. One, ready, go.
rest. Rest, repeat. Second ending, thumb, here. Rest, rest. rest.